What's up everybody? This is Jeff here uh, doing another Route 666. I am in Pittsburgh right now. I'm going to see. This is uh, downtown Pittsburgh. I am literally right now underneath the Roberto Clemente Bridge here in Pittsburgh. And so uh, one of the crazier things lately uh, there is a idea, there's a documentary out there about the smiley face killers, right? And that is a group, possibly a nationwide group, that is into, like, uh, aqueous uh, sexual sadism, whatever you want to call it. But anyway, uh, there have been up to 100 victims around you know the country and Pittsburgh is one of the places uh, where there have been a couple different bodies found but uh, they have been there is uh, the possibility that they have abducted uh, by either drugging or uh, uh, a lot of the victims were found with GHB in their system, but they are calling them, the police are calling them uh, accidental drownings. But it's busy down here, it's kind of cool. But uh, this is Allegheny Landing right underneath the bridge here. Uh, it's where they found uh, one of the bodies. Uh, I think it is, uh, his name is Devin. I think it was Devin. I always remember, and then I don't remember when it's time. Uh, but anyway, one of the bodies were found down here, and uh, you know they labeled it an accidental drowning. But all of these victims, it's been very similar. Uh, they've all been either drinking and then found drowned in a river somewhere all over the country, mostly in the Midwest. But uh, when they've been found, uh, some of them have had GHB in their system. Most of them have been, you know, missing for more than a month, several weeks. And most of them had not been in the water for very long, right? So maybe they were dumped there uh, and had only been in the water for maybe, you know, hours, maybe a couple days before they were found. So it's really, really interesting uh, that there is this idea but there is no real concrete evidence or proof that it is except for and we'll see if uh there's see there's a little bit of graffiti here <laughs> apparently it says hail me uh -huh. free palestine interesting but i don't see uh up here on the side of the bridge it's not here anymore but uh in oddly for the crimes uh, what they've been saying is a s smiley face killer or killers and there's often a smiley face painted somewhere around where the murder site happens so um, there's no more here now but there was when uh, when the body was found there was a smiley face up on the bridge and it's really kind of cool because uh, when I was listening to some of the reports the bridge had just been painted a couple weeks beforehand and so when they found the body, there were brand new smiley faces painted on the side of the bridge. Now, these people that are doing this, if you believe that it's true, uh, may have some kind of online forum. There is not one killer. There may be several. Uh, there may be small pockets. It may be more like a cult versus a single solitary serial killer. So it's really interesting theory. I don't know how much weight there is to it, uh, if it's a legitimate thing or not. You guys can decide for yourself. There is a, a documentary on Hulu about it. Uh, also, if you go into YouTube, there's several documentaries. Uh, there's one that was really interesting that I watched uh, earlier today, where the guy who was the guy who was doing the documentary actually disappears after meeting one of the people that is into this. Uh, this erotic uh, sadism, right? And so he met one of them, and he actually, there's a video, and I don't know how real this is, but the video is pretty terrifying where he documents himself, uh, or unknowingly, I guess, 
documents his possible murder, but he has disappeared. So it's really, really interesting. But all of the victims were males, uh, young athletic males in their 20s uh, that were drugged after being at a bar and or at out drinking and ended up uh, dead several weeks later floating in a river. So I know that one of the other victims that was from Pittsburgh was actually found in Wheeling, West Virginia. And I passed that on the way here. But uh, I wanted to stop here and show you guys. So this is uh, underneath the Roberto Clemente Bridge uh, and where they found one of the bodies. Check it out. I will see you guys on another episode of Route 666. The number you have dialed is not available at present. Please leave your message after the beep. Yeah, trendsetter. Whoa, league of my own, it don't get better. No, read what I wrote, I'm a bestseller. Yeah, reach for my goals, hit it dead center. Hit it dead center. Bullseye hit it the most, is no misses. Something like fish in a barrel, it's no different. Blindfold on me, I still got. Without me, I said